Mercy back here. We're going to video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, my. Yes, sir. Yes, viewers. Yes, sir. Yes, Mercy back here. Going over there. Reacting to more Fever 17 trailer videos. Really discussing their gameplay. Because I mean, Fever has been cast and something saying, oh my gosh, you're just so glossy. You're just so cinematic. You don't really focus on the gameplay. Well, now they're focusing on the gameplay. While Pez, who is known to focus on the gameplay, have kept quiet. Hush them. Your game is coming on the 15th of September. But yet you're keeping quiet. Better make noise, you know, so you people buy your game. Cause, I, cause, I, I, it's a, it's, it's bigger. Why? Because Pez comes out early, number one, and Pez is forty-four pounds, while Fever is forty-two pounds. So why should your game be two pounds more expensive? Why don't you use that two pound and go and buy real kits eh? on Xbox? I know it's available on PS3 or PlayStation, but for Xbox, it's harder to get. PC is easy to get as well, but for Xbox, it, I don't know how to do it. But let's go. It's, this is called Fever Seventeen Gameplay Features, the physical side of the game, which is very important as we do I'll speak about it after let's go in three two one go we've overhauled physical play in FIFA 17 to transform the way players physically interact all over the Hazard pitch. Hazard. Eden Hazard gave us an insight into how he uses his body and strength to gain physical advantage during matches. Yeah, I like to play with contact and I try to use my body. And die. I always try to, to keep the ball on my foot. I love him, man. At the centre of the overhaul is pushback tech, which is a US patent pending technology we built to heighten the realism of player physics. You now have the ability to trigger the physical play button in any situation, meaning you decide when to engage in a battle for the ball and space, or when to shield in any direction. New first touch shielding means players now understand where the biggest defensive threat is, so when a pass is played, That's the good. recipient can identify a defender in close proximity to shield out and receive the ball in a protected position. That's good. In FIFA 17, physical interactions will come to life in realistic detail across the entire pitch. Play it first with EA Access. Can I quickly say I feel sorry for Pez this year? I think, I think I don't know what I don't know what Fever ate. Or I don't know. I think Fever. I don't know what Fever had for lunch, but they are, they're making some new leaps and bounds. Hopefully, you know they don't just make noise. Ah, we done this. Ah, innovation. Ah, we we done this. Innovation. Ah, we done this. Innovation. And then when we play the game, let me like hey. Where's the innovation? This is maybe this is us FIFA 16 with more with more player faces and journey mode. Wag one, wag one. But hopefully this physical thing and hopefully it doesn't come too overplayed. I know people are gonna use people. Like, oh my God, Jesus! When I say Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic is gonna be one of the most one of the most OP characters and Ronaldo is gonna be the most OP characters in the game. It's crazy because why Ronaldo the most because he's got speed and he's got strength and he's got the head and fingers. You know the way the attack is different now. And Ibrahimovic is well, his strength will be like level eight something. So literally we standing there and just be holding off everyone like that. But hopefully they make it realistic because in last year's FIFA 16, I swear down people. You could have Ronaldo and then people like Mares or people like who's his weak um or Gibbs or or I don't know skinny people that are not really that strong on the ball can still manage to hench out big big man, you know. People like Ronaldo should not be get hench out by Gibbs. People like Ibrahim should not be hench out by Gibbs. I hope they fix that because I'm tired of me right now doing Ronaldo and Gibbs can manage to to hench out Ronaldo. Gibbs. Oh, who, who's weak as well? Um, Yanuzai, he's small. Yanuzai is small as well. Or oh, Rashford, those kind of players can manage to somehow hench out with their Ronaldo, the Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic, the Hummels, the really people who are really strong on the ball. And another thing I hope they focus on is speed. Like, I know they don't want to make it too overpowered, but in Rio 16, a massive big thing is that let's say you run down the ring with Ronaldo, for some reason, John Terry. Can keep up with you. I'm sorry, you are Ronaldo. There is no way John Terry should be able to keep like. There should be more of a difference, you know. Ronaldo's like 90 speed, but then and then um, what's his name? John Terry's like 60 or 70 speed. There should be a bigger gap. Like it's Ronaldo. Like it's. I know Ronaldo's getting older. He's not as fast as before, but. If someone is 60, 60 something um, speed and someone is 90 something speed, I should be, I should be able to feel it. Like, it's like, whoa, he is much faster than him, you know? I know it was FIFA 16, they did that. And people were like, oh, they're complaining, oh, Dombia is too OP, Emenike is too OP, they're too fast. But that's realistic, okay? It's, it's, that is normal. Attackers are usually more faster than defenders. You can't say, oh, it's too OP, fam, that's real life, you know? Musa, um, Ahmed Musa, who went to Leicester, will obviously pace out John Terry by far. You know what I mean? John Messi will obviously pace out Mepsaka by far. So by by almost EA trying to please the people, the 
players, they were actually taking out the reality of the game. You should be able to par to speed pass someone. That's normal in football. That's acceptable, you know. But mess back in the video. Peace, love, and uh, yeah.